Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 5. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to find the number of groups in a division equation. We're learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently because we will be using math throughout our life. We will know that we are successful when we can use the count by strategy to solve for the number of groups in a division equation. Let's put these umbrellas in equal groups with six in each group. Here's one group or one row of six. There's a second group of six. And there's our third row with six umbrellas. How many umbrellas are there in all? How many in each group? How many groups? Answer, there are 18 umbrellas in all. There are three groups with six in each group. Now, let's write a division equation where the divisor is the number of groups. Remember, in a division equation, you start with the dividend, that's the biggest number, right? And you're dividing it into the number of groups. That's the divisor. The divisor is how many parts you are dividing the whole into to get the quotient. The quotient is the answer. Here we go. The dividend, or the large number, is 18. There are 18 umbrellas in all, and we're dividing them into three groups, or three rows. So 18 divided by three. The divisor is how many parts you're dividing the whole into to get the quotient. And the quotient is six, so that's how many in each group, or how many are in each row. Here's another one. Alyssa has 15 cups. She puts three cups in each shelf. How many shelves does she have? So we're going to organize all of these 15 cups onto three shelves. Are you ready? Let's count by threes to get to 15 to find out how many shelves she needs. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. So as you can see, if I put those cups on a shelf, that would be like putting them in rows, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five shelves or five rows in an array. Alyssa has 15 cups. She puts three cups on each shelf. How many shelves does she have? We're going to write a division equation where the divisor is the number of shelves. So the divisor is the number of groups. And we said there are five groups with three in each group. So let's take a look. Answer. She has five shelves because 15 divided by five equals three. The divisor is the five. Okay, we're ready for our read, write, draw, write question. So the first one we do together. 
The read, draw, write process is sometimes called the RDW. R stands for read the question and pick out the important information. D stands for draw a picture to model how you solved the equation. And W stands for write the answer as a sentence. So when you're writing the answer, you want to make sure that it's a good, juicy answer that includes words from the question and tells how you arrive at your solution. Okay. Shane's water bottle holds eight cups of water. I think that eight cups is going to be important. So I want to note that. He drinks two cups of water every hour until the water is gone. I think that two is going to be important. He drinks two cups every hour until the water is gone. So that means zero. How many hours does it take Shane to drink all of the water in his bottle? So how many hours to drink all of the water? Hmm. He's starting with eight cups of water. He drinks two cups per hour. How many hours does it take Shane to drink all of the water in his bottle? Notice how I reread it to make sure that I understood the information given and the information that we're trying to find out. How many hours does it take Shane to drink all of the water in his bottle? Write a division equation where the divisor is the number of hours. Okay, so I need to write a division equation. So that should be in my drawing, right? It shouldn't be an expression. It should be an equation where the divisor is the number of hours. That's a good clue. Okay, let's open up a Jamboard. Now, if you're at home and you're doing this with me, you could be writing on a piece of paper. You could be writing on a draw erase board, or I'm sorry, a dry erase board. Or if you have access to Google, you can open up your own Google Jamboard. And there's a link in the box below to how to get to a Jamboard if you have access to Google, or you can just type it in. So you go up to the browser and you type J-A-M-B-O-A-R-D.google.com to open the website. I'm clicking on the plus sign to start a new Jamboard. Now I have a blank piece of paper or a blank whiteboard. Let's go back to the question. Shane's water bottle holds eight cups of water. He drinks two cups of water every hour until the water is gone. How many hours does it take Shane to drink all of the water in his bottle? Write a division equation where the divisor is the number of hours. Okay, so I'm going to start with my division equation this time. He starts with eight cups. And the divisor is the number of hours. I don't know that number. That's what I'm trying to find out. But I do know the quotient is two. He drinks two every hour. I want to know how many hours, right? This is my unknown. So how can I set that up as an equation? Well, how about we start with an array? I want an array with eight total and two in each group. So the number of groups is the unknown, but I know there are two in each group, so I can count by twos until I get to eight. There's two, four, six, eight. Okay, I have eight in all, and I have two in each group. And now I know my divisor because I can count my rows. I have one, two, three, four rows or four groups. Let's go back to the question. 
How many hours does it take Shane to drink all of the water in his bottle? Okay, I'm ready for the last step. Write the answer as a question. So I want to include parts of the question in my answer. I want to say it takes Shane two hours to drink all of the water in his bottle. It takes Shane four hours, not two hours, to drink all of the water in his bottle. So I know that it's four because I used my count by strategy. I counted by twos, counted by twos until I got eight. So eight divided by four equals Okay, so I've read, I've drawn, and now I've written a nice juicy answer to my question in the form of complete sentences. Let's go check our answer. Answer, it takes Shane four hours to drink the water. I counted by twos four times, so eight divided by four equals two. So the wording is not exactly the same, but everyone's sentences will be different. I want to impress upon you that you are to do your very best. So if you can write just one sentence, one really good sentence, that's fine. If you can write two, three, even four sentences that make sense and support your answer, that's awesome. It's up to you to do your very best. So now it's your turn to do a read, draw, write question on your own. Here it is. So after this video is over, you can pause on this screen and you can reread it as many times as you want. You can spend as much time as you want picking out the important information. You can draw out your math model and equation on paper, on a dry erase board, or even go to a jam board. It's up to you to follow through. So I'll be reading the question for you. You'll take some time to complete it independently. And then when you're ready, you can go to the box below and you can find the answer and compare it to your answer to see if you got it right. Sarah picks 25 apples to make pies. Each pie needs five apples. How many apples can Sarah uh, how many pies can Sarah make? Make a drawing to solve. Then write a division sentence to explain your answer. Okay, now it's your turn to go complete this redraw write question. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.